let's talk about one of the, the first things that, that most people ask me right now is, where are we on a budget? And the answer is, we do not have a budget right now. We're heading back into the Senate next week, and the way the process works is that the House starts the budget, and they pass the budget. <clears throat> the Senate, we passed our version of the budget, and we're about a billion dollars apart. And a big part of that is the Senate Majority Leader, is Shane Massey, and the President of the Senate is Thomas Alexander. But as most of you here know, the most really important person in the Senate is the Chairman of the Finance Committee, and that's Senator Harvey Peeler, and that was previously Senator Leatherman for <coughs> two decades. So Chairman Peeler, he really wanted to come out of the gate strong, being this is his first budget, and he had a billion dollar tax cut and a billion dollar rebate that would be tax returned back to the people. The House did not want to do the billion dollar rebate. So we're a bit about a billion dollars away. Now what was a really interesting machination in the process within the Senate was that I-73 project. And everybody here familiar with I-73 here? Okay. The senators from Horry County, would be Senator Goldfinch, Senator Rankin, and Senator Hembry, um, they desperately wanted I-73. In particular, they wanted the $330 million from that billion dollar rebate to go toward I-73. So, you know, again, in the Senate, it's a deliberative body is how they call it there. So everybody gets an opportunity to talk. And it was quite interesting because the three senators from Horry County had decided that after the budget talks had started, um, they were going to do round robin taking turns to pitch the rest of the senators <coughs> on why we should kill the billion dollar rebate and apply the money toward I-73 in increments. So here's how they positioned it. It was kind of fascinating not having sat through it before. They got up and, and you know, and you could, you could see. Has anybody ever watched the Senate or any of the hearings? You can watch them. So I think I say you can go back and watch it, but there's hours of it. It's not necessarily the most entertaining TV unless you, you, you really have an interest in it. Uh, but Senator Goldfinch got up and, and he was very candid and said, this billion dollar rebate is a waste of time and a waste of money and citizens won't even care. They'll get their check, they'll cash it, and they'll never remember it a week later. They'll fill up their tank a couple times, they'll go to a movie, they'll buy dinner, but there will be no long-lasting value. What I am proposing to the rest of the senators is that we take the billion dollars from Chairman Peeler's budget, mind you, but we'll take that billion dollars, and if you will give Horry County in the I-73 project $333 million and vote for that, what we are proposing is that Another $333 million would then go to each one of the 46 counties' road projects, which gets some people's attention, because you're a, if you're in Dillon County, Marion County, Abbeville, or Jasper County, um, there's some small counties that you put seven-plus million dollars into their road projects is a big deal. But then they said, and here's what's in it for the rest of you senators, that remaining $333 million split evenly among the other 45, other 46 counties, and you can use it for any approved project within your county. That's a big deal, especially if you're in a rural county to take seven plus million dollars in, for each county. And they pitched it over and over. And Chairman Peeler, who's been in there a long time, 40 plus years as well, he tabled, he, he tabled every motion. And it was a, a real t tense day because the senators from Horry County, they would go around and they would talk to each one of us individually. And it was an impassioned plea, like from an evacuation standpoint of the beach, from economic development standpoint, um, from growth outside of just tourism and recreation to get other industry here, we need 73. Ultimately, their motions failed and the 333 million that they wanted for 73 did not succeed. Um, Chairman Peeler also went around to all of us and said, "Like this is a big deal. We need the billion dollar for the rebate." So that's where it was in. That's where it ended within the Senate. We passed the budget as it stood, but now we have what's called conference committee, where you take three senators and three House members, and we meet to talk about how we're going to essentially bridge the gap between the House's version and the Senate's version. So we don't have a budget right now. We're working through conference committee. We head back into the Senate next week. Um, and there's a lot of questions that are being asked, like what happens to the teachers' races? 
the Senate's raise was different than the House's raise. So I get stopped almost daily by teachers who said, are we going to get our raise? How much is it going to be? And the real answer is we don't know. We, we have to figure out what the final version of the budget is going to look like, and then we need the governor to sign it. So that is the budget, um, and where we stand on that. Maybe I don't think you anything here. 